where am I? Is this the right place? Ah, Dylan will know. I'll find him. Overdue? Why hasn't Dylan paid it? Dentist? I don't know where it is. How will I get there? Why what? That's me, but I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going. <laughs> wow, that sounds impressive. But I don't think it was me. Dylan? Are you here? I can hear you playing. Where are you? Your brother almost made you late that day. <laughs> what a lovely surprise. Our little bistro. Pretty color. Pretty color. It's locked. Oh, one of those uh, time counting things. I have one of these too. Counting things. I need the toilet. I'll go now before I meet Dylan. Thank you. 
Was it this way? They look the same. I can't... Oh, how silly. Oh no, Hari Suni, which door is it? I couldn't remember. Oh, and Dylan? He's not there. Oh, I hope he's put the kettle on. He can't have seen it yet. He hasn't drawn the heart. that how does she know my name she said she's Later. coming for me it's maria from the care agency i've been ringing all i morning. should go but Please i'll wait for dylan who was that how does she know my name she said she's coming for me I should go, but I'll wait for Dylan. What does class mean, disaster? He always made things difficult, but I could never say anything. This is your favorite spot to sit, scribbling a new piece.
must give them a ring. I haven't spoken to them in ages. Where did that hole come from? It's locked. I don't want to fall. It's locked. I should phone Dylan. Is he okay?
glad he's back now. He is, isn't he? It's lonely here without him. Not going that way. It's locked. It's locked. Should I take them? I don't feel sick. They can't be for me. Not going that way. Should I take them? I don't feel sick. They can't be for me. Okay, you show me then, clever clogs. That's no fun, Dylan. You have to find it yourself. <laughs> As you wish, Professor. Not yet, I'm not. Bah. It's just a matter of time. So, guide me to this star. It's not a star, but all right. First, find Pegasus, towards the bottom of the map. Um, Pegasus... Ah, I've got it! Its body is a giant box dipped on its corner, and the top left corner of the box is Alpha Rats. This one? That's it! <laughs> hey, I'm getting good at this. <laughs> now count two stars up and follow along to the right. From there to Andromeda. All right. So, what am I looking at? The Andromeda Galaxy. It's 2.65 million light years away. And you can actually see it with the naked eye on a clear night. Imagine that. Well, you must show me properly. Sonny, do you think there could be another you and me in Andromeda looking back at us? Maybe. You know, my Leela auntie used to tell me the stories of the gods and the stars, but I can't really remember them now. What was I doing? Oh yes, Dylan. Where is he? You bought me this in Paris.
Maybe he's taking a bath. <sighs> Not in here. Where are you? So, Sunny to the cosmologist. How about a coffee? There's a, a cafe over there. Well, if that's the way the umbrella's going, <laughs> maybe I should. A cup of tea would be nice. I hope Dylan's put the kettle on. Not going that way. But Dylan loves peaches. Maybe we can get a takeaway tonight. Then we don't have to cook. Who is leaving these notes? <laughs> we always need more peaches. That's silly. I bought ham yesterday. I shall use the stove if I want to. Who is Maria? I don't like cheese. It's so bland. Dylan knows that. Why would he make me cheese? Maybe he's getting forgetful. I thought perhaps, now the tour is over, we could start trying. Let's wait. Just until my research is finalized. You always spoil me on my birthday. Which year was that? We look older. I miss her stories. I should visit her soon. Amsterdam. That's where we met. Breakfast in bed, Mrs. Appleby? Sounds perfect, Mr. Appleby. Clear sky. Perfect. Show me one with the story, Lila Auntie. All right. Let's start with an easy one. This is Taurus, the bull. Look to the east. Can you find the star at the tip of one of the horns? OK. 
Okay, I think those are the horns. Look down to find the star. Got it. That's Svaha. She was desperately in love with Agni, the god of fire. But his love was focused elsewhere. That's sad. But I suppose at least she's a beautiful star now. True. Show me another auntie. Hmm, let's see. This time, I will show you a constellation in the west. It has three stars close together. Can you see it? No, I can't. There are too many. Don't give up so easily, Suni. This star's light has traveled so very long, just so you could see it. Would you want its journey to be wasted? How long? Thousands and thousands of years. Fine, I'll look again. Look for the brightest star over to the west. Now, head straight up, and there will be three stars in a row. Uh, I see it, I see it. What is it called, auntie? Prajapati. One day, Prajapati was chasing one of his daughters. The gods saw and wanted to punish him. They called on Rudra, the god of storms and thunder, and asked him to punish Prajapati. He shot an arrow which flew fine and true and pierced Prajapati's waist. Those three stars you see are Rudra's arrow. Whoa, how do you know these stories? When I was your age, Baba took me out to show me how everything that seems to matter doesn't really matter. The stars show us how small we are. Lila auntie? Where? Where did she go? He's in the kitchen. I wish they could have been here. Errol didn't forget the rings, at least. Any good friends. It's all a bit of a blur. It didn't rain though, even though Jenna thought it should. I'm so glad I persuaded him to get a tree for our first Christmas here. Sonny! Sonny, come look at this! Where would you go if you could go back in time? 
If it was possible, I'd stay just here and now. You smile, Ben, like you knew something. A marvelous secret. I'll set a place for Dylan. He'll be here soon. <sighs> it's getting late. I'll make us a cup of tea before bed. I want to know all the stars, Leela Hunty. <laughs> we should be heading home now. No, Hunty, just one more, please. The seven rishis. I know, like life in the Mahabharata. Precisely, Sunni. The rishis were the seven sages who made the sun rise and warm us with its light. What else did they do? Well, first, the Rishi married Kritika, the seven sisters, and they all lived happily in the north sky. Come on, so look north. I'm looking. Can you see the four in a box? Oh, I see it. And three going up. Six, seven... What happened to them? One day, the Rishis prepared an offering to Agni, and he emerged from the flames. He instantly fell in love with the sisters. But he couldn't be with them because they're married. Exactly. So what did he do? He was tormented by his love for the Kritika and took to wandering. One day, in the forest, he met Svaha, who loved him, although he didn't know it. She disguised herself as six of the seven sisters. Did it work? Did he love her forever? Sadly, no. The Rishi thought their wives had been unfaithful and left them. Nobody was happy. Not every story can have a happy ending, Sunni. Not even for the gods. Dylan, why are you never here? I need to know.
No, you just decided. I don't want to talk about this. Not when you're like this. Why did we always come second? You didn't. You were pressuring me. We always said, though. Well, things changed. Exactly. You changed. But you never told me. Must be reading this wrong. What's it saying? I must be reading this wrong. What's it saying? that would get put on hold. I stopped touring. What did you want me to do? I don't know, Dylan, but what I do counts. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? I didn't mean that. Wait, Dylan, wait! wait. wanted us to slow down and start a family. I was happy to be just us and our careers. But I kept forgetting things. I... Why 
I got confused. I forgot myself. But then you were gone. And I forgot that too. I don't want to be alone and confused anymore, Dylan. We can be together now. Now, I remember.